You got a brand new PlayStation 5? Well, first off, congrats. Wait, you don't have a PlayStation Plus subscription yet? Don't worry about it, homie. I got you. I'm gonna tell you about the most amazing free-to-play games that you can play on your PlayStation without actually having a PlayStation Plus subscription. So, let's jump right in. Fortnite is the best live service game I have seen till date. More than just a game, it's a pop culture revolution. Epic has managed to keep the game fresh after all these years with regular updates to maps, game modes, mods and some of the biggest pop culture collabs in gaming history. I mean, which other game has hosted concerts by Travis Scott, Ariana Grande, BTS, to name a few? They even find innovative ways to reset their maps each season. Think massive kaiju battles and freaky Galactus? It's crazy. If building is not your thing, Fortnite features a no-build mode, so you can focus more on guns and less on materials. Football meets jet-powered cars in this insane game, which has made a name as one of the biggest esports titles in the world. In case you haven't played it yet, expect mayhem and all sorts of fun, especially when playing shared screen local multiplayer with friends. Casual play, ranked play, 1v1 or 4v4, there is a lot of content to be found here. If you want to head online, cross-platform multiplayer makes finding games across all platforms easier. And it's perfectly fine if you're not subscribed to PlayStation Plus. But wait, why aren't you subscribed to PlayStation Plus? It really is the best deal in gaming right now. If you're looking for a battle royale that's a bit easier to get into while being realistic and competitive, COD Warzone 2 fits the bill. You can jump right into the conventional BR mode, but if you want to learn the mechanics, jump into the DMZ, a survival themed mode that has you taking on AI while fighting against other players in a frantic race to the extraction point. Plunder lets you squad up with friends and continuously respawn as you race to end the round with the most amount of cash captured. I'd also recommend playing the Resurgence mode here as it's more forgiving and way more fun than the traditional Battle Royale. Apex Legends carries Titanfall's DNA, which means it has the same fluid player movement while adding in heroes to the BR formula. Much like Fortnite, Apex has been extremely well supported over the years with new maps, game modes and new characters. For instance, they added arenas in Season 9, which was essentially a 3v3 TDM on smaller sized maps. In Season 16, however, they removed 3v3 but added in 6v6, so even if you aren't into BRs, you can still enjoy this game's shooting mechanics. Oh, and there's also a ranked playlist if you want to play the game competitively. A lot of games these days take themselves too seriously, but with Fall Guys, you get unadulterated, goofy fun. Think Takeshi's Castle, only you control cute bean-like characters. You must win absurd yet hilarious minigames thrown at you, while competing against 29 other players. Trust me, it's a lot more fun than it sounds. Take the game mode Jinx, for instance, where if you get touched by a jinxed enemy, you are now jinxed and have to chase players that haven't been turned yet. This results in a situation where you're running away from a horde of Jinx players and it's hilarious. Genshin Impact is a free-to-play open-world action RPG that offers a vast and beautiful world to explore. If you can see something in the distance, chances are you can go there. The open world is filled with secrets, puzzles and side quests. And just moving around this world is engaging as you can swim, glide and even climb mountains. In combat, you control a party of four players and can swap between them through your action wheel. If you have three other friends, you can create a squad of four and really immerse yourself in Genshin's world. Brawlhalla is a 2D fighting game very similar to Super Smash Bros. The main objective in this brawler is to knock someone out of bounds in the map you're fighting in. It offers several modes from 1v1s to free-for-all. The controls are simple and it supports local multiplayer through a shared screen, like fighting games. Online multiplayer is active as it even offers crossplay. The game boasts of some really cool crossovers like Ezio from Assassin's Creed, iconic WWE wrestlers like The Rock, The Undertaker and the one who you cannot see, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, 
the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and lots, lots more. Splitgate is a first-person shooter with a sci-fi twist. You can create portals between two locations, adding a certain amount of strategy to an otherwise straightforward shooter. The game is kinda like a mix between Halo and Portal. Portal cause, you know, portals. The Halo influence is felt in weapons, the visuals, game modes and gunplay. Splitgate offers plenty of variety in game modes, from deathmatch to domination, free-for-all, capture the flag, split ball and even a hilarious mode called Teabag Confirmed. Path of Exile is an isometric action RPG like the Diablo series, with a lot of Diablo vets now preferring its in-depth gameplay. Fair warning though, Path of Exile's skill tree is perhaps one of the most complex in gaming today. But if you can get into it, it's also one of the most flexible. Gameplay is fairly similar to action RPGs, so you'll pick your class and level it up through exploration and questing. The environments barring some central areas are procedurally generated, which definitely increases replayability. Path of Exile has also ditched in-game currency for a barter system, which is a breath of fresh air in today's market. Overwatch 2 is a sequel to the 2016 game of the year, Overwatch. Gameplay is largely the same, with minor tweaks to the number of players in each match. The heroes are all present, with new ones being added in regularly. The sequel exists to make the game a free-to-play, live-service model and that's exactly why it's on our list today. Unlike most shooters, Overwatch manages to add unparalleled variety to the first-person shooter genre because of the map designs and the way different heroes play in each map. The visuals and voice acting just make it a complete package. Also, just another tip, do not play with crossplay enabled. You're gonna get completely destroyed by mouse and keyboard players because you can't have aim assist enabled in these crossplay lobbies. So just remember that. Destiny 2 started its life as a full priced game, but it went free to play in 2019. Fast paced, smooth, easy to pick up, and most importantly, fun. Destiny 2 can be played solo, with friends and against other players with enough content for both PvE and PvP. You have options when it comes to playstyles as well. Warlock is a balanced class with a good mix between offensive and defensive options. Titan is more focused on defense and strength while sacrificing agility and the Hunter focuses on fast movement and positioning. The expansions also keep going free for limited periods of time, so you have more than enough content to play through here. If you just want to play an arcade racing game without any fuss, just download Trackmania. It has a lot of modes to try out, but the mechanics are quite something too. There are certain techniques like power sliding and speed sliding that once you master will help you improve your results and also with the rank play that you can experience in this game. The best part is you can even build your own tracks and challenge other players for the best times on it. Think of it as your favorite Hot Wheels fantasy, realized as a game. If you've always dreamt of being a space ninja, a Warframe is the game for you. The game may be 10 years old, but doesn't show its age thanks to stellar support over the years from its developers. A third-person shooter with an in-depth melee system and robust RPG mechanics make it cover a wide spectrum of genres. Then you have the gameplay itself that's fast-paced and fluid, but can be a bit daunting for newcomers. You even have a ton of build options thanks to a staggering selection of Warframes itself. What are Warframes? They're basically weaponized armor suits that change the way you play the game. Told you, it's cool. So, those were some of the games that you can play without a PlayStation Plus subscription. You can go check out the rest on the PlayStation Store. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. And it's your boy Pollock signing out. PlayStation.